<laughs> what are you laughing about? Take two, take two. Take two. Hello everyone, welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief today. Hello everyone, welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief today. We're gonna be giving you guys probably one of the best eye candies I've probably ever had on my channel. So you guys are in for a very big treat. We're gonna be visiting uh, the biggest West Coast wholesaler slash online slash retail store uh, we have uh, here on the West Coast, specifically uh, Southern California. So we're gonna be joined here with my co-host, Aquaman Shalom, as you guys probably already know him. He is the OG uh, of Instagram. There's no denying that, right, Shalom? <laughs> Hopefully we get him to talk today and he's not as shy as he typically is on camera. I do them quite a bit, uh, but sometimes we just don't have that luxury, especially in the life we live in. It's pretty fast paced. It's always nice to you know, be at the gym, uh, be on the go, be in the office, just like that. Alright everyone, so we finally arrived here at Unique Corals and um, I gotta say I'm beyond blown away. Um, before I started this video, I actually walked through the whole uh, facility here. Just obviously know kind of what I'm gonna be talking about. This place is unreal. Um, certainly it's the most corals I've seen at one location at one time. So I think you guys are gonna be in for a really treat. Um, I'm probably not gonna be talking much, it's gonna be more um, just showing you guys the, the different shots I've gotten um, but really just enjoy it because yeah you guys are in for a really really big treat guys you guys gotta see these huge and I mean huge clams Inappropriate reefer, I think we can put probably one of these in your whole tank and it take up <laughs> pretty much the whole tank. I mean, these things are absolutely humongous. Look at that, oh my God. Like, yeah, there's, they're easily bigger than a football, without a doubt, bigger than a football. My God. So very quickly you can see here they have a, a total of, they, they have here kind of different rows um, of tanks. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six center rows. Uh, they have a few side rows here, of, uh, typically eight cans, uh, Zoas as well. A lot of the SPS are housed on these first ones running more of the blue spectrum. So one thing you guys are gonna notice right off the bat is they do run I don't know, there's something like 100 Radeon lights in here. Um, so they are running the Ecotech Radeon lights, same lights I run. Um, and it's kind of their own custom spectrum. It's, it's similar to an AV Plus for the SPS, but a little bit more of the white. And then you can see more down the road as we get closer to the softies, uh, they're running a little bit more of the blue spectrum. But very cool to see a huge aquaculture facility like this using the e Ecotech Radeon lights. I mean, I always rave about them. But very cool uh, to see them as well running them.
All right, everyone, so I just stumbled across and asked uh, Danny here from Unique, what's the most expensive exotic frag he has? And he told me it's the JD Junior here. $950 a frag. But look at that, guys. It is absolutely beautiful. He promised me a little frag, so we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. Oh, my God. Wow. $950. A frag. Not that whole colony. A little frag. Hey, frag, wow. frags are nice. Look at these frags. No, they are. They're beautiful. Yeah, nice So I don't know about you guys, but I am beyond blown away at what I've seen. That $950 frag is unreal. Um, to be honest with you, I'm honestly considering getting it. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, just having something like that in the tank. And believe it or not, I was talking to Danny and, and he said they're actually very, very hardy. So they're not very hard to keep. The problem is uh, they're very slow growers. So. Um, we're going to continue taking on a look, but I don't know guys, I'm be tip these, these rows here are the, mainly the two SPS, uh, dominated, uh, setups and just the amount of eye candy, the tier at unique corals is something I had never seen in one facility. Um, not, oh my God, look at these, holy, look at these monkey caps, they're absolutely unreal. So we're going to continue on guys because trust me I can talk forever, uh, I I'm just still in shock as you can tell. That is, the, the pop on that is amazing. Yeah. Wow. It's definitely... What is, what is that there? That is the... That's the stilato. Oh, okay. Branching, nice neon yellow pulp. It's a Kung Pao. Oh, that's a famous Kung Pao? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dude, there's so much nice stuff in here. Branching Conifora. What are they called? 
Branching Gunny Park? Branching Gunny Park? I've never seen that. What the hell? Not very common. It's actually pretty cool to see them having an Alcatronic. I don't think it's operating right now. It just says, says please restart. And also, they, well, they're obviously dosing uh, elements. And those are being done here by these huge, what, like three feet tall calcium reactors. So they got dual chamber calcium reactors. The reason for that is they try to increase the CO2. Uh, does more contact time with the media uh, as well as increases the CO2 so when it goes back into the uh, main tanks for the display the CO2 isn't that low but my god this is huge like the, look at this like there's it they're absolutely huge I mean the amount of colonies they have here at this facility is, is something that I've never seen uh, you guys could really see the diversity of the Montipora caps. Uh, check out the green slimers. I'm actually thinking of getting a green slimer uh, for my tank since it's doing actually really good with SPS. So here shortly we're going to show you guys how to properly frag um, an SPS piece by the one and only Unique Corals. So we're going to show you guys how to properly frag an SPS piece a small piece like this it's usually easier to cut a few branches off first with the wire cutters or the coral cutters sorry and once you've cut a few pieces what you can do just run it through the saw to give it a nice clean base. Okay, now it's a flat surface. Put this stick onto right so it yep. doesn't fall off. That makes yeah. that makes total sense. Add a bit of glue. Need less glue because now you have a flat surface to play with. That's so true. Right there. Just press it on and that's it. That's it. Set it in water. That simple. Yep. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> All right, thank you. So you guys can probably guess having a big facility like this, you need big calcium reactors, big everything. Their uh, skimmers are humongous. They're like four feet tall at least. I mean, these things are huge. I feel sad for the guy that has to go up there and, uh, and clean the gunk out of the cup. But hey, someone's got to do it. <laughs> Check out, guys, this great selection of euphilia. A little bit of a, if there's ever been a euphilia garden, this is it. Look at that. Every variation of green you'd probably want. I'm seeing one gold. Those things are so hard to find right now, but they got a gold torch here. A few more hammers. More LPS. Look at the green on this guy. God, that's a beautiful piece. But one thing they really have, I think these are called long tentacle plate corals. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But they have three different color variations of it. Honestly, I want uh, that one. Because I think green is just so redundant in a reef tank. Having some off green would certainly be nice. Look at this plate coral, guys. This thing is beautiful. I want I want it. I mean, to be honest with you, I want I want everything in here.
So ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna end today's video here with Unique Corals. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, more importantly, hopefully you saw some really nice pieces. Um, a lot of the pieces you did see, not all of them, but a lot of them are on their website. So you can go on their website, you can check them out. Um, you know, if you're into SPS, they got plenty of it. If you're into softies, they got plenty of it. Uh, pretty much anything you're into, uh, you can assure that they have. So uh, we're gonna leave that video here, guys. As always, like, comment, uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment box below. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.